Hey guys, Jack the 80s man here, and today I'm here to do a video called a coffee music tag. Now it's now I know it's the same kind of thing as the coffee movie tag, but I'm just gonna have to do my own version of the coffee music tag. Some of the songs that I love and some of the songs that I hate. So let's get on this straight away. As you can see, I'm in my sister's bedroom now again because I don't want to show build I don't want to film any of the mess in my bedroom and the mess in my parents' bedroom. Okay, let's get on this straight away. The first question is Black Coffee, a music song that you love but is not easy to get into. And for me, I have to pick Purple Rain by Prince. Now Purple Rain is a popular song sung by Prince because it's from a movie called Purple Rain, which I never watched before, but I did watch the music video on TV something like uh, years ago and last year. Yeah, it's a shame that Prince died by drugs last year. What is this world coming to these days? Sometimes I really hate the news when it happens, and sometimes I get so, so upset about it. And so anyways, I'm just getting, I'm going off track right now. Purple Rain is a song by Prince which I really love and everybody has really loved this singing. Okay, the next question is Peppermint, the favorite children's song. Or is it, song, or is it a, a movie song from a soundtrack? Okay. I think it's from a, a song from a movie, that's what it's called, yeah, I'm just saying that right now, but for me I go for Up Where We Belong by Joe Cocker and Jennifer Warnes. Now, it's a, now this song is one of the most romantic songs I have ever heard in my entire life in, in, a year, in the year 2007 on Christmas time. Now this is a romantic song for who is who is really wanting to be in love with, with a girl who is so cute and lovable. And uh, and Joe Cocker is one of the most one of the most jazziest blues singer that ever lived. And again though, just like Prince, it's a shame that Joe Cocker died of cancer in two thousand and fourteen. And the next question is, uh, Hot Chocolate, a favorite Christmas song. Now for me, I go for Last Christmas by Wham. Now, uh, now Last Christmas is a Christmas song which I've been listening to all these years. I listen to all the George Michael songs very often. <laughs> and again, though, just like in Joe Cocker and Prince, it's a shame that George Michael died last Christmas, and that really happened for real this time, last year. George Michael died right after I was watching The Lion King in Dad's house, which is, which is quite, which is quite upset, which is quite obsessive with the movie The Lion King because everybody watches it, and George Michael died in 11 o'clock that is I hope it's 11 o'clock um, George Michael died in 11 o'clock in Christmas Day and last and this is why last Christmas by Wham is that really happened and the next question is uh, double espresso and the song that held you on your seat the whole, the whole way through. And for me, I go for two songs, which is by George Michael, <laughs> because George Michael is one of my favorite singers of all time. Jesus to a Child and Fast Love. Now, Jesus to a Child is a song which I've been uh, singing for the past uh, year, last year, that is. Now, now this is a song which I w listen to very often 
in the early 2016 last year and this is why this is why I go to and this is why I go to Beverly while I was thinking about that song and never get it out of my head and Fast Love Bo is a song which I've been singing in college last year in the early 2016 was a song which I cannot stop singing constantly and and my teacher Pam had heard me singing it and my friends too they all heard they all heard me singing fast love and I've been doing a and, and I've been doing a a play of what well, I'm singing that called Maplins now this is a now this show is a brilliant show which I which me and my friends have been in and that is why I've been singing that song Fast Love and this is why it goes one of my favorite songs of all time and the first and I have to, I have to admit this song sure reminds this song sure sounds like Men in Black sung by Will Smith and Forget Me Nuts by uh, whatever her name is and I really have no idea why they do all different kinds of different sound song which that ever existed in the 80s and the 90s three songs that sound like each other Men in Black, Fast Love and Forget Me Nuts <laughs> I guess people have already been singing it all the time and that is why but, but for what song for which for which that really had me for which really had my reaction though is that George Michael is singing Fast Love and he swears by singing it by saying all that bullshit conversation and I say all that bullcrap conversation and I just been showing I just, I just been showing the lyrics this lyric video of George Michael singing Fast Love and by s by putting on did you know that he said bullshit in that song and my friend Marcus Beaumont just commented on my video saying oh no and that is why he's re and that is why this song is reacted by George Michael swearing once in that song and that is why those two songs George, Jesus to a Child and Fast Love by George Michael have me kept on my seat for all the whole way through uh, now the next song is oh, I forgot what I forgot which question is but it but the but I don't know which question it is but I but it I'm going off track right now but it is which I don't know what the question is is indie or foreign song shout out and for me that is Shaddy love is stronger than pride Shaddy love is stronger than pride uh, this is a song which I've been listening to uh, years ago because it really wanted me to think about going into Anwick Castle again into and that was in 2011 this is the first time I've been to Anwick Castle and it's beautiful out there really long way to go and and this is why I've been thinking about that song since I since I was looking since I was walking with my parents to Anwick Castle along with Whitney Houston one moment in time now the next question is oops got decaf and and that is a song that disappointed you now I gotta go for something that is too recent for me because I'm not really a huge fan of new songs and uh, that is without further ado I'm up all night to get lucky by Pharrell Williams. Not gonna, not gonna answer you. 
I'm not gonna ask you about why I don't like it. It's just I don't like that song. Uh, the next question is, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the question is right now again, and that is a bittersweet mix that seems perfect. Now for me, that has to be a dance and a dance song and a love song, and that is, hmm, hmm, you know how to love me, by. Some woman I don't know. I don't remember his. I don't remember her name is, but there is a good song by the eighties and the nearly seventies, and I, I I can't remember. But I can't really remember why I'm why I'm thinking about that song. Though it's just it's been a long time since I've been listening to it. You know how to love me. Since I've been. Listening to that in Bumston Beach and Bridlington, and two more questions now. And the next one is, I don't remember. I can't recall any of the questions I've been asking, and that is a song that you might love a little too much, and that is, and that is the song which I love a little too much, and that is "Who Wants to Live Forever" by Queen. And Queen is one of the is one of the greatest music ba rock band in the history of music that ever lived, and it and it's sung by by Freddy Krueger, and it's a shame that he died years ago by HIV. And my mom said that he really loved listening to Freddy Kru Freddy Mercury in Queen and that is why I chose Who Wants to Live Forever by Queen along with other new songs by Queen fantastic singer Freddie Mercury rest in peace in, two, in 1991 now a final question now a final question is friends don't have friends don't let friends have Starbucks and that song question is a, a song that you tell others to avoid. Now that is that is the easy part for me. And that is all of the new songs from Capital Radio. And I can't I can't I don't really have to pick any of the pardon me, sorry. I don't have to pick any of the new songs because I know it's stupid. That that I know it's stupid of, of me to pick all the new songs from this question because I don't really think it's fair on people, which my mum thinks. <laughs> I go for Because I'm Happy because that song is one of the worst songs I have ever listened to in my entire life and I really, really don't know why that people loved about it. I don't. I hate its existence. I hate the fact that it's being made and I really hate the fact that it, it that it's being listened by any audience that really that, that really is brain damagingly that it really is brain damagingly dumb to listen to this song and all of the new songs from Capital Radio that ever, ever listened to. <sighs> and that is, and that is one of my hatred songs in the history of music. I hope you know that too. Don't judge me, just respect my opinion and I'll respect yours. Thank you. Okay guys, that's it for today for the video. Next time I'll be doing my DVD reviews of the movies which I've been watching for the past couple of days and I'll be doing I'll, I'll be reviewing them since after I watch them. And I'll be and I'll be thinking about doing a coffee movie tag since I'll be doing that video of a coffee music tag. 
And if you guys want to subscribe to my channel and after you've been watching my videos, go, go, the links in the description below and please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my reviews. Enjoy the entertainment and all that stuff.